All right, we've reached the point in the program. I hope everybody's had a couple drinks, and I hope you have a full one now. If you don't have a full drink, you should get one, alcoholic or non. We've got a number of honorifics to award. Has everybody had a decent conference? Has this been all right? Have we done okay? What do you think? Right? First of all, how many of you are enjoying the California weather? And San Luis Obispo? And this amazing campus at California Polytechnic Institute? And the incredible team here, the computer science department. Fantastic work, right? We've had the best time. This is great. Like, maybe not topable, we'll see. But thank you, thank you all. This is really fantastic. So iLearn is a very serious organization, very scholarly, <laughs> focused, evidence-based. So serious. Yes. Free bird. <laughs> Free bird. They, they, they said they would be. Are <laughs> No. Um, Flexible. Flexible. Flexible, right? Iterative. Definitely iterative. Innovative. And design-based. Um, no, seriously. Thank you all for making the journey out here to this amazing place. And uh, we're not done yet. We've got, but this is kind of the crescendo of the event. And it's my honor uh, to, to be here with Daphne Economu uh, to present uh, these awards for this conference. Thank you again for everybody for uh, submitting your, your presentations, for doing all that incredible hard work right, the art, the computing, the narrative, all focused on learning. Like you guys are creative and so smart and you're making real results. It's really amazing, really, really amazing. So these awards are not given lightly. Um, so first of all, these are the Iron 2023 Conference Volunteer and Committee Awards. Uh, rookie of the Year for this year. Distinguished in their first year of service. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Here we go. Uh, session chair, we have Larissa Tokochuk of Queen Mary University of London, UK. Larissa could not be here today. But we have maybe somebody that received the award for Larissa. Come on up. <laughs> Thank you, Larissa, for all your work. Marilus is going to accept that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Larissa. Amazing work, through session chairs, making sure that we have somebody at each session who's read the papers and can, can represent. Second, we also have our volunteer coordinator, Charlene Harden in Phoenix. United States. Thank you, Charlene, so much for all the incredible work that you've done. She showed up like with barely a script of what to do at all. She pulled it off for our online conference. Coordinated volunteers was there. Well, it's just amazing work, and we really hope that Charlene will continue working with us. Thanks again, Charlene. Yes. yes. Next up, we have our award, the Herculean Holler. Uh, provided for the most hours of donated volunteer service. And this award goes to someone you probably can already guess who this is gonna go to, our newest board member, uh, Mr. Michael Hamalka. He's our chief technology officer. He has devoted so much effort, put in so much work. The, the conference this year went off largely because he was able to provide the infrastructure for this conference. It's, Thank you, Michael. We love you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Third up, we have our social media maverick. This is for the person who does the most amount of retweets, re replies, shared posts, working it out there to get the, the dissemination. 
Our footprint on social media could not have been done without Genevieve Smith Nunes, who also created the templates and the amazing graphics that work behind iLearn23. Big, big applause for Genevieve. Thank you. Right? Thank you, Genevieve. And there are requests actually for people buying these as a poster, so... Oh, oh, yeah, posters at the checkout, uh, only $50. It'll be... No, we'll... <laughs> uh, for best immersive learning research uh, adventure, we have adventures that go out into the metaverse to give people first-hand experiences of what's going on out there. And this year is awarded to Dr. Jackie Lee for his science VR He's from Palo Alto here in the United States, actually fairly close by here. Thank you, Jackie, for all your amazing work and for giving people that great experience. Thank you. Uh, next up for our Outstanding Board Service Award, uh, we truly have an incredible individual here in our midst tonight. She's, um, she's been amazing, been with us from the very beginning. Uh, she's been our publications chair from the beginning, helped us to coordinate things uh, on the organizing committee all the way through. Let's give it up for Anasal Peña Rios. Thank you so much, Anasal. Like seriously, we would not have either without Anasal. <laughs> Thank you. The best. Um, so also for the effort of perfusing a smoothly running conference experience for all attendees, we also have, uh, again, Genevieve Smith Nunes from the Cambridge United, uh, UK for, for service. Thank you. Um, we also have, oh, uh, Christian Ackers. <laughs> This guy done so much incredible service. Like he's been all over. He's been at the beach. He's been helping out. Like I mean, so much. Can you, have this a you should say a few words. Hi. I try to be fast. Have I seen my yesterday with this T-shirt? The question is, is it the same? And the answer is, yes. Okay, another topic. <laughs> So we have a lot of wine today here yeah, from, from a great winery, and um, if you don't drink all of it, it goes to the San Luis Obispo um, Hunting and Rifle Group. Do you really want that? <laughs> but honestly, I'm just a substitute here. We, I'm, I'm not serious. Let, let, give me the serious moment. I'm just a substitute, because you all know the people who want for you all the last couple of days yes. and we're creative in doing this yes, yes. and this is from left to right it's april come on april come to the stage yes. it's rodrigo canon rodrigo how are you yes. And our five student volunteers. Yes! You need good people <laughs> to pull this off. This is my only message for everyone today. You need good people. And I'm very, very grateful that I found them. Thank you very much. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Now, thank you. I, I, I try to avoid our divorce now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cutest couple. Greatest Absolutely. couple. Yeah, thank you so much, Irene. Thank you, Christian. Thank you very much. Yeah, and thank you, team. You're the best, really, seriously.
One more round of applause for the local team! Yay! Yay! Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we have uh, one more service award for this year's, uh, and that is for amazing work uh, on our publications. Like, so after everybody's turned everything in and it's all camera ready, there's still a fair amount of work to do to get everything set for Springer Publications. And so this year's service award goes to Maria Castellano in Portugal. She's done an incredible job as a co-editor. Thank you, Maria. Uh, to accept on her behalf, we have Daniela Cabrosa. Yes, he's my PhD student. She's her PhD student. Thank you. Thank you. And me and Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, Daniela. Uh, for Best Local Organization Support Award, we'd like to invite back up on stage, and this goes for remarkable support in arranging such a hospitable place uh, for the attendees from all over the world. Uh, come on up again, April Marie Grove. Woo! April yeah. put up with me on multiple Zoom conversations, talking about the swag, talking about the setup. She was absolutely gracious. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Next up, we have our Outstanding International Co-Chair Award. The International Co-Chairs are in charge once the call for papers goes out. International Co-Chairs make sure that the, the call gets spread in every crevice, every corner, social media, email list, so that people know about what's going on. So this year, uh, this most active international chair in disseminating that CFP goes to George Baca from the Universitari Conrad Lorenz in Colombia, who's here tonight! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, George! Jorge! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Charles. Our Outstanding Organizing Committee Member Awards. We've got several of these. Organizing Committee Members work from the fall all the way to June to make this all happen. So we have a number to, to give out today. Uh, first off, uh, uh, I guess this award comes also with an apology. Um, this role was a little bit more challenging than we had figured. He pulled it off. Uh, these two people pulled it off with a plum. They did a fantastic job. They never complained. Like, honestly, they just did a great job with incredible circumstances. The two awards, one is to Al Bodson of Lehigh University. He's here tonight. Yeah. And Mohammed Zahid Iqbal uh, from Teesside University. Uh, he, he, the two of these guys with the registrations did just a fabulous job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we are we're not using Easy Trip for registrations anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one um, uh, goes to someone who has also done an absolutely outstanding, incredible job and did way extra uh, when the uh, editing of the publications for Springer came to like a focal point. Uh, she's done just an amazing job. We hope she'll stay with us. Uh, we absolutely adore her work. Uh, please give a huge round of applause for Daniela Pedrosa from the University of Portugal. Thank you, Daniela. We should probably quick sing a quick happy birthday to her, too. Can we, can we give her a happy birthday? Ready? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. I want to 
say thank you so much to Anna Sol because Anna Sol to teach me and help me so much in this process uh, for publication share and also for Handy. I don't know who is Handy. Thank you so much for the papers, Latex. It's very challenging. <laughs> and also for you, John, and the whole team, organization team, uh, is an honor and a proud to be part of this family. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniela. All right. Uh, next up, um, I'd like to call Paula McDowell to the stage if she'd come up. We have now proudly our iLearn 2023 Practitioner Stream Awards. Yay. Um, this is Paula McDowell, our Director of Practitioners. Um, Paula? Maybe you can say a few things about the process yes. of the uh, selecting the process. <laughs> All right. So the practitioner stream um, is a little bit different than our research stream, right? But we still have done, a, uh, we're really focusing an effort to do a form of peer review that's right for practitioners and innovators, right? Um, so we're so proud to be able to add practice and innovation as a as an equal part uh, and counterpart to our research. Um, and so these, these are, uh, we're just so proud, proud to be able to do this for our second year now. Um, so the, the process, we had some, uh, 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 an, uh, the practitioner uh, panel um, who made these selections of the various uh, uh, proposals that, were, that came through. Um, and so, uh, for each award, there were three nominations and with one winner. So I'm going to uh, do my best to get through these. Yeah. So for Outstanding Contribution to Pedagogy, uh, awarded to a practitioner stream presenter whose work represents groundbreaking breaking pedagogy or innovative practice in the award of immersive learning. So we had all of the different program chairs nominated, actually, the same paper. Right? So we didn't need to go to a jury, right? So that's pretty special. For the, the, the practitioner uh, submission entitled Immersive Learning and Inclusivity, Raising Awareness, Identifying Opportunities and Challenges, and Adapting Practice, we have Sarun Sifikyat from the University of Glasgow, UK. Come on up. So we also have Marie Luce Borgay, who is right alongside Sarun. One of our program chairs. Thank you, Marie Luce. The two of you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Next up, we have outstanding contribution to research. So research informs practice sometimes practice is also forming informing research particularly in these emerging technology areas so it was awarded to a practitioner stream presenter whose work represents groundbreaking research or theoretical innovation in the area of immersive learning all of the program chairs nominated the same paper again uh, and then awarded this uh, entitled Evaluation for Iteration, Pre-Pilot Design, and Results of an Anatomy Education VR Resource. This goes to Panayotis Antonio and his team. Yeah. Panayotis was unable to make it this year because of extenuating circumstances. But thank you so much, Panayotis, and the whole team. Fantastic. Next up, we have Innovation in K-12 Education, awarded to a practitioner stream presenter whose work is at the leading edge and likely to change the field of K-12 education. Two papers were nominated. Uh, we had uh, submission 149 by Anna Jo, action research on exploring the educational use of VR as a platform in art education. 
And we had submission number 154 by Yu Sion Jiang, Dian Kim, Yeo Kyung Jang, and Jiang Ryu, uh, designing interactive space for the XR board game. So the award goes to... <laughs> Action Research on Exploring the Educational Use of VR Platform in Art Education to Anna Jo right. of Korea yeah. National Education in South Korea. Thank you, Anna Jo. Next up for the practitioner stream, we have Innovation in Higher Education. This is awarded to a practitioner stream presenter whose work is at the leading edge and likely to change the field in higher education. All program chairs nominated the same paper. Again, we have convergence. We have some inner rater reliability. Uh, this is multimodal data as users performance recorded in XR based training situation environment. To Kuk Young Kim, Kim, John Ho Kim, Dayan Kim, Hong Wu Zhang, Soying Park, Jiang Ru of Chanan National University in South Korea. And I'm so sorry. I'm on sorry. But thank you so much. Fantastic. Next up, we have Outstanding Contribution to Workplace and Industry Training as a Practitioner Award. Two papers were nominated. Number 150, our Practitioner Co-Chairs, Zhuang Moon and team in their Immersive Technology Enhanced Learning System Design and Civil Engineering Education. And paper number 44, Sarah Diptai Ramaya, Simulation training and preparedness of fellows in reproductive medicine, comparing value of hybrid workshops with IOINT programs. And the award goes to, thank you, thank you, Immersive Technology Enhanced Learning System Design in Civil Engineering Education, Zhuang Moon, Siang Song, Iwun Awayemi, Raisa Martiori, and Sefer Korset, the University of Alabama, United States. Thank you so much, Zhuang and team. Best Practitioner Poster Award. Of course, this from the practitioner stream, the contribution goes to the substantive content, the methodology, and the clarity. Two papers were nominated. Number 141, Tracy Medolia Moore, uh, empathetic chatbot, enhancing medical education with artificial intelligence, and paper 150 or uh, uh, submission number 152, uh, Weepo Han, applying VR for immersive experiential learning in underserved rural schools, and the award goes to <laughs> empathetic chatbot, enhancing medical education with artificial intelligence to. Tracy Mendelia Moore, University of North Texas. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. Good job. Next up, we have Best Practitioner Presentation Award. And for the best presentation belonging to the practitioner stream, augmenting the learning experience, the Alex Implementation Framework for Higher Business Education to Matt Gloatz, Eleni Mangina, University of College Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. Matthew? Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> timing, it's all timing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so at ILRN, we, uh, I think that uh, so far we uh, persuaded you that we are very uh, responsible, uh, we, we are very thorough, uh, and we are very serious. Very, yeah? Yeah. very serious. Uh, and we value very much our reviewers. The reviewers are vital for uh, what we do. Uh, and uh, we want to acknowledge uh, the reviewers for uh, all the good work that they do. Uh, and uh, we have uh, some academic reviewers awards. 
and to do so we again uh, follow a quite uh, thorough process uh, so we ask our uh, academic program chairs to nominate uh, uh, four, four uh, reviews is it four yeah yeah four reviews uh, and we do this uh, collecting the reviews uh, anonymously uh, on the basis uh, of uh, uh, thoroughness uh, uh, giving constructive feedback to our uh, uh, authors even if this is a rejection of a paper uh, we want to uh, make sure that the uh, reviewers they give uh, constructive feedback to, other, to authors to that they trust us to improve their publication and uh, send it again uh, next year or uh, submit it in one of the special issues that we uh, uh, that we create as part of the conference. Uh, so we follow a process that we collect the reviews, uh, we anonymize it, and we send it to an independent uh, jury panel that uh, um, Jonathan is going to read. Um, and I want also to say a few things uh, about the process that we follow for uh, the academic review. So we acknowledge uh, reviewers, and also the process that we follow for the uh, academic papers is that uh, we uh, ask again the uh, academic program chairs that they uh, that been through uh, the, the, the process of uh, um, identifying which papers they uh, they go through and they are accepted to the conference and which uh, papers are um, rejected. Uh, so we select, uh, we ask the academic program chairs to uh, nominate uh, three uh, best papers based on the scoring that they received from reviewers. And then again, we anonymize these papers and we uh, pass it through a, a, an independent jury panel and we ask them to vote uh, for the best papers. Again, on a list of criteria that Jonathan's gonna read out. Uh, and that is the process that we follow. So uh, you may hear names uh, that you see around us as uh, friends and part of the uh, program committee, but we're not making favors to friends in here. We follow uh, a thorough uh, process uh, to uh, award uh, best presentations. That's what I wanted to. That's absolutely. Thank you so much, Daphne. That's it's very important. That uh, I mean, we do have a lot of fun here. We are very close, but we want to make sure that you all know that we we really take great efforts to make this extremely fair. We follow that double bind process, and we appreciate you spelling that out. Yes. For whom the bell tolls. Uh, the recognition of best academic reviewers amongst, this was a careful consideration of all the reviews based on the following criteria by the academic program chairs. Number one, the rigor of review, the contribution to improve the paper, the contribution to developing the conference, the rejection reviews count um, if they're grounded in detailing the research weaknesses for why it was rejected, uh, and helping the authors to improve their work. Uh, a scathing rejection eliminates a nominee. A glanced over acceptance eliminates a nominee. And an emphasis on form, that is the style and the way that the reviewer organizes the work, rather than the substance, uh, the research quality. Uh, these are not desirable reviewing focuses or flip side. So the winning reviews have been chosen by an independent jury panel, which was asked to do a meta review of the nominated reviews based on those criteria that I just mentioned. And these independent jury panel members who voted for the best reviewer, to call out, raise your hand if you're here in the audience, Marcos Mensalopoulos, the University of Westminster. Thank you, Marcos. Vasiliki Duki at the University of Westminster. Thank you, Vasiliki. And Dennis Beck. University of Arkansas. Thank you, Dennis. The nominated reviewers for the academic stream, Ludovic Harmon of the Université du Maine, Carl Boel, Thomas More University of Applied Science and Ghent University, Ashley Etamadi, Harvard Graduate School of Education, and Benedict Hansen, Ryan Westphalia Technical University of Acton. So, first award we're going to award to Benedict Henson at Rhine Westphalia Technical University. Benedict here. Benedict here. Thank you so much, Benedict, for your incredible reviews for Iler. 
And the second award goes to Ashley Etamadi at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Thank you so much, Ashley. Here to take it for uh, I can take it yeah, for yeah, her. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Fantastic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Ashley. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for accepting yeah. <laughs> Next up for Best Academic Paper Awards, we have three nominations, one winner. In each category, all nominated papers have gone through the blind review, peer review process. Final nominees have been chosen by the academic program chairs from those that received best reviews and have been nominated for awards by reviewers. <coughs> the winning papers have been chosen by an independent jury panel, which were asked to review the nominated papers based on contribution, methodology, clarity. The independent jury panel members voting for the best academic papers, these are student papers and work in progress, Matt Schmidt from the University of Florida. Thank you, Matt. George Kutromanos, National and Kapodistrian University of Athens in Greece. And Patrick O'Shea, Appalachian State University. Thank you, panel members. Oh, one left. Another one. Lionel Morgado, University of Alberta, Portugal. Thank you, you know. Uh, the independent jury panel members voting for the best academic papers, full and short, were Ionis Dumanis, University of Central Lan Lancashire. Yeah, yeah. United Kingdom. Arguru Vasilisio. Vasilis, professor at University. Uh, Kingston University, Kingston. United oh. Kingdom. Ouch, sorry about that. Uh, Rami Ghanem, University of Glasgow, our local chair for next year in Scotland. And Alexander Klippel at Wageningen University at Research in the Netherlands. Excellent. Uh, next up, Best Academic Work in Progress Paper Award. These are the following three papers that have been nominated in this category. Paper number 40, Andres David Castro Lotero and Antonio Baia Riz. Riz? Immersive media and war reporting in Colombia. Uses, potentialities, and challenges of 360 degree video to narrate armed conflicts. University of Passau, Germany, and Universidad Carlos de Madrid, Spain. Number 117, Diogo Cardoso, Isabella Bartucci, and Barbara Clito, The Impact World. UNAMAD Escola Superior de Media Arte a Design, Instituto Politanico de Porto, Portugal. And paper 116, Cesar Daniel Rojas Ferrar, Masayoshi Ishibashi, and Takayuki Fujiwara, exploring the effectiveness of multi user basic workflow assessment training in WebXR research and development group, Itachi Tokyo, Japan. And the award goes to Immersive Media and War Reporting in Colombia! That's right! <laughs> Andre David Castro, Lotero, University of Passau, Colombia, and Antonio Valles, Utopia Academia, Spain. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. Next up, we have Best Student Paper Award. Thank you, students. And thank you, faculty, for making your students submit for either. <laughs> uh, the following three papers have been nominated in this category. Paper number eight by Eula Kruger, Mariam Koch, and Daniel Bodemer. The role of context and interaction when learning with augmented 360 degree images. University of Duisburg, Eisen, Germany. Paper 13 from Elliot Huha, Hugh Au, Puja Alahari, Janani Haranarayanan, sorry. Uh, Zanlin Wee, Yuriel Wu, 
So will you, Mari Danoff, Novel Behaviors of Youth in a Virtual Reality Chemistry Lab at Teachers College and Bernard College, Columbia University, New York. And paper number six, David Furness, Sebastian Oberdorfer, and Mark Eric Lastoschik, Work, Trade, Learn. Developing an immersive series game for history education at Goethe University Frankfurt and University of Würzburg, Germany. And the award goes to. I can't hear you. Thank you. The role of context and interaction when learning with augmented 360 degree images, Eula Kruger, Marion Koch, <laughs> Daniel Baltimore, yeah, University yeah. of Duisburg, Eisen, Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You. You're not getting away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Best Academic Short Paper Award. The following three papers have been nominated in this category. Paper 21, Feng Yan Lu, May Christine Johnson Carlin, Mohammed Rami Gadam, and Jeffrey Scott Cross. Trial Assessment of Online Learners Engagement with 360 Degree Architecture Videos, Tokyo Institute of Technology and the University of Tokyo, Japan. Paper 85, Georgia Kazaku and George Kutramanos, teachers' perceptions towards the use of augmented reality smart glasses in their teaching, Department of Primary Education, National and Kapodistrian University of Athens, Greece. And paper 87, Ji Lu and Matthew Schmidt co-design and evaluate a participatory, human-centered, equitable, neurodiverse, and inclusive extended reality with autistic users, University of Florida, USA. The award goes to, let's hear it, exploring the needs and preferences of autistic users in an extended reality, participatory, human-centered approach, Ji Lu and Matthew Schmidt, University of Florida. Thank you. Jen, smile. Oh, so good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Fantastic. Next up, here's the big one. They're all big. You guys are fantastic. But this is the Best Academic Full Paper Award. The following three papers have been nominated in this category. Paper number 14 to Hubert Kakati. A serious game based on hidden objects for art history in fully immersive virtual reality, California State University, USA. Paper number nine, Ki Ming Sun, Ihan Hsiao, and Shi He Yi Chen, immersive educational recycling assistant, that's ERA, learning waste sorting in augmented reality, Santa Clara University, and National Chengqing University, Taipei, Taiwan, Taipei. And paper 20, Shi Zhen Li and Joey Li, failure stories and surprising findings, learning from the times when VR did not work. Teachers College, Columbia University, New York, USA. The award goes to <laughs> Hubert Kakati, California State University, Fresno, for a serious game based on hidden objects for art, history, and fully immersive. Thank you, Hubert. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best presentation award. You voted for this. You all voted for these, so you're responsible. <laughs> These are the best presentations provided the opportunity for iLearn participants to vote for best presentations. So it takes a lot to put in the submission, come all the way here, and put in a fabulous presentation. So thank you to those of you who put in all that work. Novel Behaviors of Youth in a Virtual Reality Chemistry Lab 
to Elliot Huo, Teachers College, Columbia University, United States. Come on up, Elliot. Run! <laughs> I had the pleasure of visiting Columbia College and touring with Elliot. How long ago? Two years ago? Was it that long ago? It might have been that long ago. Wow. Time goes fast. You, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Not, not surprising, though. Really. You were amazing. Thanks. Photo, photo, photo. And we have one more. Yeah. Uh, this one goes to a guy I've been waiting to see for years. Um, he's been working with iLearn, putting in time. Um, he's got the greatest personality. This goes to. Dr. Noah Glazer, University of Missouri. Right, right, right. Did they actually learn anything? Yeah. Promoting generalizations from the virtual world right. to the real world for autistic Dr. adults. Woo. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we don't have your information yeah. because we just... Too fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but You're... we will print it and we'll give you the, oh, oh, oh. the one. Daphne, come on, get in. <laughs> oh, so awesome. Could, could actually, stay up here, Noah. Could we get all the awardees to come back up, please, all if right. you're here? Come back up for a photo op, please. If we right. want to have right. everybody, all the awardees, there's one more award that we're not aware of. What? There's, there's one more award. We're not done. There's one more. And this is uh, this was given by uh, the uh, uh, award chairs uh, for acknowledging all the very hard work that one person has been doing for many years now, devoting a uh, number of hours, uh, time of his personal time that uh, he doesn't have. And this award goes to the most hardworking global leader uh, award and goes to Jonathan.